Let's talk about J.P. Morgan Chase's CEO, Jamie Dimon, had a stark warning about the war between Russia and Ukraine. Here's what he said in an exclusive interview with CNBC Europe's Juliana Tatelbaum. It's Pearl Harbor, it's Czechoslovakia, uh, and it's really an attack on the Western world. A free democratic European nation uh, was attacked by 3,000 tanks in Europe. Uh, defended, not defended, and with a nuclear threat umbrella, it's a chance for the Western world to get its act together. You know, the autocratic world thinks that the Western world's a little lazy and incompetent. There's a little bit of truth to that. This is the chance to get our act together and to solidify the Western free, democratic, capitalist, free people, free movements, freedom of speech, free religion for the next century. Because if we don't get this one right, that kind of chaos you can see around the world for the next 50 years. Joining us right now is Jeffrey Sonnenfeld, Senior Associate Dean for Leadership Studies at Yale School of Management, uh, a pioneer and leader, really, uh, in, in doing a lot of investigative work at, and corporate work around corporations doing business in, uh, in Russia and the relationship between Russia and Ukraine and how all of this is, is taking place. Jeff, I'm curious if you just first react to Jamie Dimon's comments. Well, I thought he was brilliant. Uh, I, it's, uh, it's not helping lift the market today, but he's... Uh, there's nobody like him when it comes to, to candor. Uh, he transcends all ideology. He just calls them like he sees them. And I, 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 thought, he, I thought he was fantastic. Uh, I, I love that clarion call uh, to, for, for not just the West, but the whole world to stand behind Ukraine. So one of the things that's been fascinating, even over the past couple of weeks, is we've seen uh, all sorts of CEOs in the West speak out in all sorts of different ways. And so on the opposite side of things uh, was Elon Musk's comment about what he thinks should happen. What was your reaction to that? Well, you know, that is uh, part of a, a psychological trap that many of us have is to always think there's going to be some sort of a win-win solution. Uh, we're teaching negotiation in an executive program today, and I've just been berating our own faculty to make sure they don't always think that there's some split the baby idea here. The whole idea for those biblical scholars here is when King Solomon talked about splitting the baby, it was, it was an impossible negotiation to, to split a child in half. And to split this country up like that is, is ludicrous. And Ukraine will never go for it. There isn't a, uh, there's not a, a middle ground here. Sometimes you actually clearly have somebody right, somebody wrong. Lao Tzu, uh, the great uh, military strategist, uh, had always said, leave your enemy a dignified path for retreat. It's hard to see one for Putin in this case. Sometimes, Jeff, Jeff you, you, you've you been on the phone the, these past now, I don't know, six months more uh, with corporate CEOs all across the world. And, and some of them have spoken out. Some of them haven't spoken out. Some of them have taken steps. Some of them haven't taken steps uh, to either get out of Russia or to do something else. What do you want them to be doing now? Uh, well, just to hold the line, what they've done is... What was remarkable, as you remember, we spoke months ago, is that at the, when the war broke out in February 24th, it, to my amazement, the, the first movers were big tech, big oil, and professional service firms. They're the least likely voices in this sort of world of, 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 of corporate social impact that some are calling woke these days or whatever. Those were unlikely candidates. For different reasons, they moved first. And then we saw this mass exodus, unparalleled in world history, 1,200 firms that have pulled out. South Africa, of course, in the late 80s, was about 200. Is that something that Putin didn't count on? Uh, sometimes people talk about economic embargoes not working because they look at Cuba, they look at North Korea, the, they look at Iran were disappointments. But there are many, many more examples where it's worked and whether or not it's in, in Poland or, or, or right. in uh, uh, Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're we're seeing a, a large debate taking place in the United States about this concept of social impact, ESG. Uh, some people, you use the word woke. And when it's used in certain contexts, people say maybe it's okay. Maybe in the context of Russia, Ukraine, a, a, a possible nuclear war, people say that's fine. That's not woke. Uh, but then there's other issues, and you've talked about them, uh, voting rights, climate, other things in the country where people uh, are up in arms, depending on what side of the aisle they're sitting on uh, about these issues. Where's the line? It matters differently for each company. There isn't a, a litmus test that cleanses every company. You decide what makes sense for the company's values, where their strategic position is. Uh, but uh, it, it Sure, it, but it you've been out there criticizing companies that didn't get out of Russia quick enough. Do you remember that? 
I put the spotlight on what they did. I, I try to, you know, uh, I, 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 we did grade them A through F, so you would think an F is not a good grade, but I didn't come right out and sort of condemn companies, but said, here's what it, but the markets did, is that what you can find, and as you go to our, our site, SSRN, a Social Science Research Network, we have out of 1,300,000 articles that have been published on that online scholarly journal, we're number nine in the last quarter century. The, so many people want to see the proof that doing good is not antithetical to doing well, is the more dramatically companies pulled out, the more the financial markets rewarded them. And you could see them from when I've named the companies on the show, they would take a hit if they were on the bad list right. or they would soar on the good list. So you can see it's directly proportional to what they did. It's financial risk, reputation risk, and operation risk is what the market sees staying in yeah. Russia.